Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we celebrate and review everything we want to talk about. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't really matter. But really, what hit the social media waves today was a rumor. And this is just a rumor, guys. That Portia and Dennis may be splitting up. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know if it's true or not. Really don't know. It's a shame if it is because they just had a baby. I don't know why people do the opposite these days now. Instead of them getting married and living together for about a year or two after their marriage, then bringing babies in the world, they do the opposite. They sit there and have bring babies in the world and then think about when they're going to get married. <coughs> I ain't never heard of such a thing and it's getting to be so prevalent now. Like, that's the thing to do. Let's live together. Let's chat. Let's have family. Babies, all that involved. And then we go get married. If we really think it needs to be done that way. Never understood it. And I never will, probably. But anyway, I don't know. Like I said, is it true? Do we need to just drink a bottle of wine? Do we need to take a cup of wine? Do we need to take a glass of wine? Or do we just need to chill and just pray about this situation for a portion? Because everybody deserves to have a good man. A good life, a good marriage, a good family, and all that stuff. And she's no lesser than that. Okay? So, it's all in the social media buzz news. You got Madam Mirror talking about it, which is a very reputable magazine. You got U.S. Magazine talking about it. You got BET talking about it. And then, you know, you got Media Takeout. I think they were the first one that exposed it. So, they're getting pretty good with their news coverage. <clears throat> on what's happening out there in entertainment today, you know? So, let me just read a little bit of what U.S. Magazine wrote on the Portia Williams possibly, allegedly, split up rumors from her fiancé, Dennis McKinley. It's titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Williams Sparks Splits Rumors After Unfollowing Fiancé, Dennis McKinley, on Instagram. It was written by Sarah Heron, uh, well, so she works for the um, U.S. magazine uh, journal, you know, uh, paper or advertisement, however you want to put it. But anyway, she goes along and she writes a little article, a little commentary on this piece. She says, no longer the hot dog queen, question mark. Portia Williams sparked split rumors by unfollowing her fiance, Dennis McKinley, on Instagram. All 33 Real Housewives couples who filed for divorce after appearing on TV. Okay. Fans, I don't know where that came in now, but she wrote it in there anyway. Fans noticed on Monday, May 27th, which was the holiday, Memorial Day, that the Real Housewives of Atlanta star 37 is no longer keeping up with McKinley on the social media platform. William's sister, Lauren, and mother, Diane, are also no longer following the businessman. Williams and McKinley went public with their relationship in June 2018. Three months later, U.S. Weekly confirmed that the Bravo star was expecting her first child. The twosome who got engaged in October welcomed daughter Pillar, Hannah, and Marge. Okay? She's going on also writing about how she did the ugly cry. I guess, you know, when you have a baby, you do an ugly cry when you're happy. You're sad, you're confused, you're something of everything. Mixed emotions is what you go through on whether or not you're going to be able to do right by this baby. But anyway, uh, she said, I cried the ugly cry. It wasn't even a cute cry, Williams told U.S. Uh, McKinley proposed at the time. I thought I would be way more emotional when it came to going to the doctor and stuff. People are like, you'll probably cry when you see the baby. But I think all of that transferred to my husband. Dennis brings out a different side of me. I'm more laid back with him, and we are just in love, okay? Then, a uh, couple who survived the reality TV curse so far. During season 11 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy Burris accused McKinley of not being honest with Williams about his past relationships. He denied ever lying to Williams. The pair also documented their relationship on a three-episode Real Housewives of Atlanta spinoff title, Portia's Having a Baby, which finished airing earlier this month. 
Okay, then the Dish Nation host has yet to publicly commit or comment on any update in her relationship status. She did, however, share video of Pillar sleeping on Monday. Who else spends most of their time staring at their baby? The reality star wrote, Mommy Cam, two months, rainbow baby, and it goes on and on and on about that mess, okay? Then Williams also shared a cryptic, cryptic message with her followers on Friday, May 24th. Not going to worry tonight. God had it last time. God has it this time. The quote um, wrote or was read. The radio personality last posted a photo with McKinley on May 19th, writing, You got the best of my love. Williams was previously, previously married to former NFL star Cordell Stewart from 2011 to 2013. But my thing is, okay. If you get a, a argument with your significant other or whatnot, why you gotta take it to social media? Why you gotta be all up in the blogs and, and giving them something to look for? You know, they out there. They ready to get that scoop on what's going on with your life from a day to day past. Okay, so of course you kind of put yourself out there, honey. When you took the social media and putting out all those subliminal or cryptic type messages, making people want to think. Is there really something going on? Are they really having trouble in their little fairy tale um, drama, somewhat drama field relationship? He's in Chicago, still posting on his uh, social media page. You're here. You stop following him on Memorial Day. Then Tuesday, you want to start back following him. Then your mother and your sister. They still ain't following him. They unfollow him the same day you unfollow him, which was probably the weekend coming up to the holiday, which was Memorial Day. But he's out in Chicago, and you're here in Atlanta. So, I don't know what to think, guys. They got us all edged up, wanting to get the dirt, want to be the first one to report it, this, that, and the third. And it all could be a publicity stunt. You know, and then again, when you're dealing with his mama, she seemed like she don't take no mess. And she was already showing it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her and Diane, Portia's mama going back and forth, back and forth. She's like, uh-uh, my son got to get a prenup. Because we ain't got time for him losing everything. And Portia already said, I ain't got time to be losing nothing again. I lost with my first husband. And now, you talking about signing a prenup? I might have to get him to sign a prenup. I mean, I'm trying to figure out who's worth the most money. Is it Dennis or is it Portia? That's what they need to find out. Because whoever uh, make the most money, they're going to be the most loser. The biggest loser in the situation. If it do go south or, or go left or however you want to put it for the negative. So I think they both need to be praying. But then he got some more dirt on him too. From what the streets are talking about, they saying he be beating on folks. I don't know. But that's what they got out here saying. That's why his other girlfriend left him. He take women's money. Bestiality is brought in now. So I don't know. Portia got to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of praying. Because it's a hot mess from what the streets are saying. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. It's all allegedly. But if he separated from her to take some time off and left her with the baby. And the baby ain't never what? Six months old? Something like that? He need to be under that roof with her, raising that child. So I don't know, Portia. Something to think about, something to pray about. We'll keep you in prayer. All right, that's all I got on it because they ain't giving us nothing. They ain't said they split for good. They just said he hightailed it in another article. Uh, I think it was in Essence magazine. But if y'all put it up, y'all Google search, you get so many stories out there about what's going on, what's truly going on. But it's Portia's choice on whether she decides to stay with this man or not. We just have to support her, okay? But peace and blessings, y'all. And thank you for tuning in. Good night.